Okay, let's go over the supplies that you're gonna to need to make this fun tube of paint that was inspired by an actual tube of paint. If you have purchased a kit from Crooked Tree Art Center, you will have most of these supplies already. If you haven't, no problem. Let's just quickly go over them. We are going to use a toilet paper tube, craft plaster wrap. We end up cutting that plaster wrap into smaller pieces. To get the paint coming out of your tube, we use cellu clay. All right, you're also gonna need some craft paints, an assortment of brushes, anything, anything can work. Uh, the flat brush is nice for the larger areas and a smaller brush is nice for the details, but don't panic, you can make it work with what you have. I also had a small tray, you could use a paper plate uh, for pouring out your paints so you have a like a paint palette. And uh, a Sharpie would also work for some of those details. You're gonna need to have a container for water. You're gonna end up changing out this container of water a couple times. So when you're mixing and using the plaster strips, dipping them into the water, after you're done mixing the plaster strips, then you're gonna to wanna to freshen up your water for the painting. Uh, I recommend having a piece of either maybe parchment paper or wax paper to let your tube of paint dry in between the stages. Now that it's summer in Northern Michigan, um, drying time shouldn't take too long. Uh, I also recommend having a surface to protect your table. Sometimes these projects can get a little bit messy, but it's not too bad. All right, let's get started. We're gonna take our toilet paper tube and flatten one end and fold up the edge. That's gonna be the end of the tube. If you purchased a kit from Crooked Tree, you have pre-cut squares of plaster wrap. You wanna dip those into the water. And I'm just taking my finger and just kind of smooshing that around. Um, it makes the surface a little bit smoother and it activates the plaster. I like to start by applying my piece uh, down at the bottom of the tube. You wanna make sure as you're working that you keep that fold in place. And you'll see me checking that a couple times here. And I'm just smoothing out the plaster wrap. I'm gonna continue adding plaster wrap. We're ultimately gonna cover the whole toilet paper tube. You wanna make sure as you add that you overlap a little bit. And then you just take your finger and smooth out any bubbles, any wrinkles. You don't have to worry about making it too smooth. Once you add paint, the texture of the plaster wrap will disappear. Just tucking in those edges. We're gonna add that final piece and it's gonna cover the opening of the tube. And just take a moment to Use your fingers to spread that and blend it into the other pieces of plaster wrap that you've already adhered. This will dry pretty quickly. It's plaster wrap is the same thing that is used or used to be used for casts. I'm not sure how much they use that anymore. After cleaning off your hands, you're gonna use cellu clay we have about a quarter of a cup of cellu clay and we're just going to start by adding a little bit of water and starting to mix it in slowly. We don't want to get it too mushy. And then I will just knead it with my fingers. And really what you're trying to do is to make sure all parts of the cellu clay have been uh, wet and it's not dry. And we're now gonna add a thin piece of cellu clay to the top, and this is going to 
let us start creating what will be the nozzle where the paint comes out. You want to blend it into the sides to try to make it seamless so it looks like one continuous tube. I'm going to roll out a little ball and flatten it on two sides. This will be uh, where the paint is coming out. And I'm just taking my thumb and blending that piece into the top. And now I'm going to roll out what will be the paint that is squeezing out of the tube. So you want to make sure that it is no wider than the opening of where it's coming out of. And you'll be able to differentiate the opening from the tube from the paint once you add color. So you just carefully blend that in with your finger and kind of hold on to that paint that's oozing out, that's being squeezed out. And I'm going to set it on some parchment paper. You can use parchment paper or wax paper. And just kind of make sure that shape is the way I want it to be. Once your piece is hardened, we're now going to start adding some paint. I'm just taking a pencil and drawing where the label will be. And I'm going to use some white paint to fill in between those lines. And I'm using a little bit of gray. This is going to go along the bottom where it's starting, where the where the tube is being rolled up, and then up at the top near the um, where the paint tube, where the paint is being squeezed out. Uh, we're going with a purple theme at Crooked Tree this summer, so obviously we had to have some purple paint. Again, I'm leaving that white label section in the center. And when we come back in our next video, we'll be cleaning this up. The black paint that we use to kind of outline, that's really going to help differentiate these areas and make it look more finished. All right. All right, so we're gonna take the black paint and outline the different areas that we've created. I start off with a small brush, but you'll see me transition to something wider. It'll just speed up this process. And as you'll see, it's not really, it doesn't have to be really precise. It's kind of a fun, cartoony tube of paint. So we don't wanna to get too precise. I like to outline the actual tube for that cartoon effect. And you can, uh, you can name your tube a certain color if you want. It's a great way to learn colors. I'm quickly painting on the Cricketry logo.